This is my second cor second corner, yeah. So do you feel like a veteran now? Or? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, this is my second time here in Kona, and you know, I've done a you know a few Ironmans uh, since the last one. So, and my last uh, Ironman in uh, in Brazil went really well, and ironed out some details after Kona last year. And so, um, you know, it's my second one, but I, I think I've learned you know uh, a few years more in in just a short time. So I feel really ready this time, and um, yeah. I I think I'm ready to go and everything's firing better than it was last year. So I know that a lot of media are putting you in the top three. Do you feel this way or? Um, you know, I, I wish there was more picking me top spot, but you know, it's, it's good to be, you know, placed uh, on the podium and, you know, for me, you know, I came in last year feeling like I had the ability to win and this year I just feel even more so. You know, I, I think I have the skill set, I have the body type, I have the strengths in this race that I can win it and, you know, you have to believe in yourself to to go after what you want and, you know, and I, you know, I went after it last year and made a couple errors and this year I'm going to go after it again and I'm not going to make those errors this time. So what's your feeling about the race, like, like strategy? Um, you know this race there's you know they, you, you can have a plan you can have a strategy but you're you're racing you're racing the course as well as the other athletes and and it's a combo and, and your strategy has to accommodate for both of those and that's one thing after talking to many many athletes and you know like my manager Lisa Bentley and Peter Reed and Crowey and I've talked to them to learn as much and um, you know they said every year is different you can come here 10 years in a row and the race and the course is going to be different and so you you just have to be open to challenging yourself and racing the course and what's going to happen that day and and that's that's how I'm going to attack it. So you're, you're still with Lance? I'm, yeah, I've been working with Lance Watson, my coach, for, like for 20, forever. 20 years and you know it's still going well and you know we got the second fastest time in history in the Ironman so you know things are clicking and working and, uh, and there's no reason to stop. How was the transition from Olympic to to Ironman? Um, you know, switching from the Olympic to to the Ironman distance, it, it was kind of natural for me. You know, the training that we did for the ITU, you know, there was speed there, but I was always more suited to the sub threshold training, and so you know, transitioning was was just lengthening and and getting more into what I was good at, and you know, and we're we're seeing obviously this is my strength, and you know, so it's great to be doing that, and I enjoy. Olympic racing but now I'm just I'm loving what I'm doing so last question about the team mm -hmm. like do you think that we can have almost a strategy um, you know I think the, the great thing about being a part of the, the Bahrain endurance um, 13 team is we've got a group of great athletes um, that are you know world leading and, and so we're all pushing each other and and there's always that you know we're going head-to-head -head and we're trying to beat each other but at the end of the day after the race we share stories and we share knowledge and you know and so you know the gloves come off when we when we hit the race course and we're we're, we're trying to beat each other but we are part of this you know team that we're, we're there's some greater good to it there's, we're promoting health and wellness and fitness and that's that's something great that we can also do with our racing okay thanks awesome